Hi, third grade. Today we're going to be making a postcard out of, using a collage method. You're going to take one of the places that you sketched out and make a collage postcard of it. My place I chose today is Paris. So I'm starting with the background. You want to add really big shapes first. Think about your horizon line, your ground line, and the middle ground. Above my horizon line is blue, and below for my ground line is brown, and my middle ground is yellow. This is the Eiffel Tower. It's one of the main parts of Paris, so I made a black background. I made the really big shape first in black, and then I'm adding little, small, like medium-sized pieces of pink. And then for the details of the Eiffel Tower, I cut up long strips of white, and then I cut them into smaller strips. I put a big dot of glue on that blue paper. The big dot of glue is a nice method to use instead of trying to get glue on every single little piece. I have that dot of glue and then I just drag a piece of white paper through it. This saves time and it also saves glue. I recommend using this method if you have a lot of little pieces. Just find a piece of scrap paper, put some glue on it, and then you can drag your smaller pieces through it. It just saves so much time. So I also like this method where you put glue right where you need to go, and then you can just start adding a bunch of little pieces to it. And again, you're avoiding having to glue every single little piece. I'm cutting some more details out with white for the edges. I'm outlining my Eiffel Tower with white. I like to outline everything. It just helps it be seen better visually and it's giving a nice contrast. So I've cut out more detail pieces and I'm adding those X's across to make the pattern for my Eiffel Tower. For this right now, I'm going to make the Paris flag. If you're going somewhere, we have some flag reference sheets. You could try to add the flag of the location that you're traveling to. It really helps visually communicate without words where you're location is for your postcard. Now I've cut out organic shapes for my trees. I used geometric rectangles for my flag, but I'm using these curved organic shapes. This is one of the cutting techniques for trees. And then I'm using the exploding technique for the trunks where I just cut one single piece of paper into three pieces and gluing down my trunks and trees. The trees are also very large, so we know that they're closer to us. Whereas the Eiffel Tower is smaller than it would be normally, so we know it's a little bit behind the trees because it's smaller than it should be. I wanted a flagpole, and I thought, ooh, it would look nice if I outlined the flag in white. So I'm going ahead and doing that now. I'm outlining in white. And I'm using my glue blob instead of gluing each piece. Now I'm going to use counter change to add, or I'm, I'm actually going to use exploding. I made one cloud and then I cut it into curvy pieces. This method is the explosion method where you take one piece or one shape of paper and then cut it up and it gives this nice pattern as you cut the pieces, but you put them sort of next to each other. It's just a nice visual effect and it's also a collage technique. You'll need to use at least three collage techniques when creating your postcard. 
This blue piece is my counter change where I cut a, a semicircle. I cut a slice off the edge of that and then I put the other half pointed down. I did that on all three trees with three different colors. Now I'm using the explosion method to add a purple stripe on the right hand side. Just giving some texture to my landscape. It doesn't have to be a realistic color. I'm using purple. This black square will be for a building. I want to put a building next to the Eiffel Tower. Then I cut some flowers out. I cut four at one time. So I put four pieces of paper together and cut out one flower, but that gave me four flowers. Now I'm doing it again. I'll just show you. You can hold the four pieces of paper and cut out. This is an organic shape. And because the flowers are big compared to the trees, it's saying that the flowers are closer to us. As I was looking at the flowers, I realized they needed something extra, so I'm going to use the hole punch technique. I'm punching out a bunch of yellow circles with a hole punch, and then I'm going to glue one of those in each of the middle of the flowers, and that will just be a nice detail. It's also using another collage technique of hole punch. And then I thought the paper I had left over from the hole punch would look nice as a sun. So I put that up there in the upper left-hand corner as a sun on top of my clouds. I added a roof and my collage is done. I hope you enjoy making your postcard today.